Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on F1 2020 where we're going to be hitting up a full weekend's worth of racing around the Hungaro Ring circuit. So this is going to be pretty much a recreation of the 2020 Hungarian Formula 1 Grand Prix and in this video I'm kicking it off with the Formula 2 category. Now over the next couple of days they're going to be competing in Formula 2 on F1 2020 and then Formula 3 and the Porsche Super Cup on R Factor 2 and coming back for the Formula 1 category on F1 2020 as well. So the Hungaro Ring circuit, definitely what the commentators describe as a sort of Monaco without the walls because there's a lot of corners, there's not many places you can pass. Uh, I personally quite like this track. I don't find it all that entertaining to watch, although I don't think many people find it all that entertaining to watch. But in the virtual world on simulators, well, if you can call this a simulator, F1 2020 and R Factor 2, it is a lot of fun because the AI can be a little bit interesting to race against. Now, in this sort of career mode season I've got going on alongside this in the Formula 2 category, I've had a couple good, decent sort of results of late. Managed to get a win last time out at Silverstone and also a podium in the Austrian round. But today I'm starting off of 8th. Didn't re oh, no, not 8th. What am I starting off? Uh, totally just missed. Yeah, 12, sorry. <laughs> I thought I was starting off 8th, maybe that was last round. <laughs> anyway, today I'm starting off of 12th, which is nowhere near what I expected. Uh, I was quite a lot faster in practice. I actually topped the time sheets in practice, but unfortunately screwed up my qualifying time. Uh, there's really limited, uh, well, it comes down to... But with yesterday's qualifying performance, it could be tough. Good luck. It comes down to the whole sort of tyre selection and minimal sort of sets of tyres you're allowed on a race weekend in Formula 2, which sort of restricts how much time you can go running qualifying and practice. But anyway, race strategy-wise, looks like it's going to be another one-stopper, which is sort of normal. Setup, I have just got a setup from the Steam uh, workshop. I'm racing on the PC, by the way. And yeah, that, I think that's just about it. Let's head out on track and... Get underway with this formation lap. Yeah, we definitely got some work to do in the opening couple laps. Oh, man. I tell you what, I just, as you'll notice in a sec, I cannot get this car off the line. I mean, it's got a wicked turbo, so you've got that sort of delayed kick of acceleration. And yeah, the AI seems super OP as well, getting these cars off the line. I mean, these cars in real life have always sort of struggled since the, they came out with this engine and uh, new sort of car. I mean, Delara is the chassis, but I can't remember who does the engine diff and gearbox and whatnot. But these guys struggle to get these cars off the line in real life, especially when they first came out. That was like, it was like <laughs> you'd see like fifth, well, you'd see sort of like six or seven stallers on the grid. Never, never entertaining to watch it, and then to the point where I think one race they had a rolling start. I remember the first round in Bahrain was so bad that uh, I can't remember which track they had it at, but yeah, they decided to go to a rolling start just because the clutch and everything was so poorly made. Alrighty, here we go. F2 feature race around the Hungaro Ring. Lights out. Way too many ribs. So not too bad to get away. I've had much worse. No, don't dive on me. Uh, three wide. Oh, hello. The Arden's gone flying up. I think that's an Arden. Flying up the inside. Damn, he's had a good start. Who is that? Ah, go away. Stop hitting me. Around the outside because it kinks right after this corner. Jeez. Uh, do I send one? No, I don't want to send one there. It's too fast. That's the fastest corner on the track. Oh, jeez. Hello. That's what we like to see at the start. Well done. All right, well, we're up one spot at least. All right, now into the chicane. Uh, come on, guys, sort it out. Got places to be, things to do. Y'all are in my way. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, crap, there's someone there. In my blind spot, big time. <laughs> a pair of, uh, I don't know what team that is. 
terrible when it comes to paint schemes. Didn't watch a whole lot of Formula 2 last year, I must admit. Watched a lot more this year since we've been in lockdown. Well, not lockdown, but I'm still virtually in lockdown because Mrs. works for the NHS in COVID wards. Alright, come on, come on. We run onto the straight. Alright, let's see if we can send one into turn one. Don't have enough straight line speed. I know I have good pace, so it's just whether I can make some moves. It's so hard to pass around here. Don't want to use up too much tyre too early as well. Come on, let me let's go. Track limits. Uh, I just can't get the drive off to really make a dive up the inside. Yeah, 19 laps is the race distance, so 50% of what it is in real life. Got a long way to go. I'm struggling now. Can't seem to get close enough to make a move. This is why you have to qualify well around these sort of tracks. Need that DRS bad. Problem is, the guy in front of me is going to have it as well. Send, yeah, boys. Got him. All right, so we're up into the points. And there's our pit stop. Six to eight. Okay. Pretty kind to the tyres early on. Ooh, hello. That's way too much curb, Joseph. Bloody hell. So I was being kind to the tyres. <laughs> That's really good under brakes, I must admit. Check your MFD for your back. New strategy option. New strategy option, why would I? Pace just gave up way too much time to the leaders early on, so it's gonna be a real struggle to get a decent result out of this one, but we'll keep on moving. Here. Oh, big move. Love me some of that. This car is just so good on the brakes compared to the AI. Oh, that was Tatiana Calderon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just realised who that, who that was that made that massive move on the first lap. Right. Shouldn't be 
be able to make it here. Come on. Come on, straight line speed. Oh, that's going to be a big dive bomb, this one. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get that one quite right. <laughs> I should dealt with this chick earlier. Using too much time. Must get it done here. Oops. Alright, finally. That took way longer than it was supposed to. Alright, up into seventh. It's a tight where like. Really not that bad. I might go another lap. Go against the strategy. Apologies, engineer. <laughs> Be careful. We think you're going to start losing some time. All right. So in the pits, see where we came out or we'll come out. It's going to be down to how quickly we can get in and out of this box. Not to mention, I went an extra two laps on this soft tire, so a bit of a gamble. But we'll see how it goes. Right. Go now. Decent stop. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Right, up to seven. So basically where we were when I went in, but we got a much new newer tyres than the guys in front of us. Dorian Bocalacci. Oh, cold tyres. Let's go. Ten laps to go. We've got plenty of time to utilize this grip advantage. So we can get a podium. Oh, shit. Astro is so slippery. The gap to the car behind is 5.2 seconds. One down. Four to go. Ah, 
not close enough. I think I've definitely got more aero than the cars in front of me. See, when you're coming through the field like this, it's all about obviously making the overtake, but making the overtake without losing as much time as possible. So I had to really get the hang of that in karting when you're racing sort of grids of 40 plus karts. And say you have the pace to be in the top three, but you have some incident or something in the pre-final and you're starting off last for the final. It's all about, yeah, trying to get through the field without costing too much time on each overtake. So, for example, that overtake was probably been better off just waiting until a couple of corners later where I could have made it cleaner. The car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap form. Safety car, safety oh, safety car. car. Yes. Oh, this is awesome for us. Holy crap, man. We could, we could have a big chance of podium now. Okay, that is, that is really helpful. And I, been, I can't remember it. I think Matsushita was actually behind us, so we don't gain a place, but that would have been... That'd be nice, <laughs> but man, this is this is a huge opportunity. All right, going back to green flag racing here, starting or restarting in fifth. Have a huge opportunity at this one. I don't think we'll have to pay, uh, pace for our teammate out front, but we've got much newer tyres than the cars in front with five laps to go. Oh, screwed the restart already. All right, here we go. Okay, the has Race to the finish. Let's get back up to racing speed. Terrible restart, to be honest, but oh well. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. Podium is next.
Giuliano Alessi. I'm in a sandwich of sort of generation drivers right now. No DRS, sorry. Right. to teammate ahead is 1.9 seconds. Oh, yeah, boy. On the podium, all right. Let's see if we can grab second. Two laps to go, or three laps to go, sorry. MP Motorsports 1 2. And bin it all bin it. Right now we have two laps to catch the leader, and I think we have much better pace than him. So it's gonna have to be the best two laps I've ever driven. All right, come on, concentrate. Let's do this. 1.3 seconds. Started to drop back. There's a gap beginning to form. So, difficulty wise, I have it set to 100. Sort of have had it set at that all season. Man, I'll tell you what, we could do this. Definitely do this. I can just nail this final sector. Oh shit! Pop that up. Curb is terrible. Oh, come on, Joseph. On straight. On. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. No drive. Come on. Careful though, because it is my teammate.
send it. Oh no, no, no! No! I don't believe it. Oh shit. I really thought we were going to get that one. Oh my days, that was awesome, but still, we should have won that one. I just think, I think I used up just a little bit too much tyre trying to get to him and didn't quite have the drive off the corners where I really needed it to sort of get that run down the straight and get underneath him. But I had that one opportunity out of that sort of fast right-hander going into sort of that third last corner, but just didn't get close enough. Should have full sent it. I said I was going to full send it and I only sort of half sent it, but anyway. 1-2 for MP Motorsports, <laughs> a little bit of damage towards the end there, but, oh man, what a race, man, that was fun, 12th second, I'll take that any day, that's a huge load of points, because uh, in the feature race you get more points than what you do in the sprint race, so, it means we'll be starting 7th tomorrow in the sprint race, well, in the next couple days, also going to go head over to R Factor 2 now and hit up Formula 3. It's going to be interesting. But yeah, no. What a race. That was a load of fun. I hope, hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely gambled with the pit stops or going that two laps extra and really paid off with the safety car. I mean, I'm, I've tried that once earlier on in the season, just going that couple laps extra around Bahrain and it did not end well. So, yeah, no. Huge haul of points and a, a massive, massive result. Woo! That's hard work. It's amazing how much you like sweat and like overheat. Well, I do anyway when I concentrate that sort of hard. But After this round um, of the yeah, so 30.4. Man, we are way quicker than everyone else. So standings, Jordan King is just running away with it. 75 points ahead. We're up to 6. 149. But yeah, as you can see, how <laughs> MP Motorsport. But Jordan King's basically like won every second race. I don't, it wasn't that way in real life last year, so I'm not quite sure why that is the way it is on, uh, on F1 2020. But I do know that there is a patch coming out at some point that has all the 2020 skins of drivers, because this is, of course, last year. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for Formula 3 tomorrow, and until then, I'll catch you guys later.